Hi students, welcome to physics class. In today's class, we are going to discuss about propagation of sound waves from unit 11. Propagation of sound waves. We all know that sound waves are longitudinal waves. Longitudinal waves, they propagate in the form of compressions and rarefactions. So today's session, we are going to find out the speed of sound waves in air medium. The speed of sound waves in air medium. So here we are using the Newton's formula. The Newton's method to discuss the speed of sound waves as well as Laplace correction we are going to see. First, Newton's formula for speed of sound waves in air. Newton assumed that the propagation of sound waves in air medium is a very slow manner. He assumed that the propagation of sound waves is very slow manner. That means he considered the process is isothermal in nature. Isothermal means Temperature remains constant. Isothermal means temperature remains constant. So he assumed that propagation of sound wave is a very slow manner. That means that process is in isothermal nature. That means during compression, the longitudinal waves are forms compressions and rarefactions. During compression, heat is produced. That time, the pressure get increases and volume get decreases. Pressure get increases and volume get decreases. By that, the temperature maintained constant. Okay. Similarly, during rarefaction, heat is lost. In that time, the pressure get decreases and volume get increases. By that, the temperature is maintained constant. Understand? So, over a period of time, temperature of the medium remains constant. So, we can say it is isothermal in nature. Now, for this condition, we can substitute the ideal gas equation. Okay? That is, the changes in pressure and volume will obey the Boyle's law. So, ideal gas equation, we can write the Boyle's law as... PV is equal to constant. PV is equal to constant. Okay. Now let's find the speed of sound. For finding the speed of sound, we have to differentiate this equation. Differentiating equation 1. So, this differentiation is in the form of UV method. Suppose Y equal to UV as a function, when you are differentiating time, dy by dx can be written as U into dv by dx plus V into du by dx. You may have learned in the mathematical differentiation formula. So, first keeping U as constant and differentiating the V, u into dv by dx plus next keeping v as constant and differentiating the u v into du by dx so this formula we are going to utilize in this equation pv is equal to constant so when we are differentiating we can return as p into dv p into dv plus v into dp is equal to zero P into dV plus V into dP is equal to 0. Constant when we are differentiating time, we will be getting 0. On the right hand side, there is a constant. PV equal to constant. So, when you differentiate this constant, we will be getting 0. Now, let us write the value of P dV. P dV is equal to minus V dP or else P is equal to minus V into dP by dV. Minus V into dP by dV. So, this term minus V into dP by dV is equal to Bt. Where 
BT is known as the isothermal bulk modulus. Isothermal bulk bulk modulus of air. Where BT is known as the isothermal bulk modulus of air. So now we have to substitute this bulk modulus of air in the speed of sound in air equation. That is the longitudinal waves, longitudinal waves velocity, velocity of longitudinal waves in an elastic medium. Uh, we know the formula as V is equal to root of k by rho or else b by rho root of b by rho or else k by rho where this b or the k is known as the modulus of elasticity of the medium modulus of elasticity of the medium so here we are going to substitute the value we got the p value as p equal to bt so we can we can have the velocity velocity in isothermal temperature as isothermal root of bt by rho so here we can substitute instead of bt as p so we'll be getting root of p by rho understand so listen the newton's formula we are going to discuss here we have used the Boyle's law for ideal gas equation. PV is equal to constant. When we are differentiating this equation, we will be getting P into dV plus V into dP is equal to 0. So, P dV is equal to minus V dP. P equal to minus V dP by dV. That is, this is nothing but a constant equal to Bt. That is known as isothermal bulk modulus of air. So, already we know that the longitudinal waves, if it is travelled in the elastic medium, the velocity of longitudinal waves formula is V is equal to root of B by rho or root of E by rho. So, here we can use that formula. So, velocity of the longitudinal waves in isothermal temperature, isothermal condition is equal to root of Bt by rho. So, instead of this Bt, we can substitute the value of P. So, we will be getting Vt is equal to root of P by rho. So here P is the pressure. P is the pressure. Pressure of air. That value is at normal temperature and pressure is P is equal to point seven six into 13.6 into 10 power 3 into 9.8 Newton meter raised to minus 2. That means we are using the formula for pressure of a fluid. That is P is equal to H rho G. This is the formula. Here the H is nothing but 76 centimeter of mercury. H is equal to 76 centimeter of mercury. The normal temperature pressure standard value. And rho is the density of mercury. Density of mercury. That value is 13.6 in 10 power 3. And G is acceleration due to gravity. That is 9.8 meter second raised to minus 2. So this is the formula we are using for the NTP. Normal temperature and pressure. So, when you substitute all those values, 0.76 in 13.6 and 10 power 3 in 9 to, into 9.8, we will be getting the rho value as, sorry, we have to substitute the value of rho also. What is rho? Density of air. That value is 1.293, 1.293, kilogram meter raised to minus 3. So, if you substitute P value and rho value in this equation, we will be getting the velocity. Okay.
so v equal to root of p by rho so v equal to that is vt is equal to root of p 0.76 into 13.6 into 10 power 3 into 9.8 divided by 1.293 when you substitute these values we will be getting the answer as 279.80 meter second raised to minus 1 that is equal to 280 meter second raised to minus 1 this is the value that is known as theoretical value of the velocity of sound waves in air media understand now experimentally the value of sound velocity of sound waves experimentally the v value is found to be 332 meter per second at 0 degree celsius okay but we got the newton's formula 280 meter per second so how much is the percentage of error the percentage of error can be calculated by 332 minus 280 divided by 332 into 100 percentage that is equal to 15.6 percentage so nearly 16 percentage of error is occurred this error is not small isn't it so we have to clear this so to rectify this error laplace has given the correction so now let's see the laplace correction So in 1816, in 1816, Laplace has assumed that the sound propagates through a medium is not a slow manner; it is a rapid manner. So rapidly the sound propagates. Rapidly the sound propagates. So here the compressions and rarefactions are occur very fast. Compressions and rarefactions occur very fast. So here the temperature is no longer considered as constant. Temperature is no longer considered as constant. So we can say this process. this process is not an isothermal nature and it is assumed to be adiabatic process adiabatic process understand students so laplace has given the correction by assuming that sound propagates through a medium is a rapid manner that means compressions and rarefactions are occur very fast and temperature is no longer considered to be a constant and it is also said to be an adiabatic process so for adiabatic process the gas obeys the equation as poisson's law not boyle's law poisson's law poisson's law So what is Poisson's law? It states that P V power gamma is equal to constant. P V power gamma is equal to constant, where gamma is known as gamma is equal to C P by C V. Gamma is equal to C P by C V, which is the ratio between specific heat constant. specific heat at constant pressure and specific heat at constant volume that is adiabatic exponent so when we use this poisson's equations we will correct the newton's error now let's differentiate this equation that is p v power gamma equal to constant and here also we have to use the uv method as well as you should know the x power n formula differentiating x power n if y equal to x power n means 
dy by dx is equal to n into x power n minus 1. This formula also you have to know. So when we are differentiating this equation, we can write v power gamma into u into dv. v power gamma into dp plus p into p into v into du. So p into v power gamma we have to differentiate that is x power n method n into x power n minus 1. So I can write gamma into x power n minus 1. So v power gamma minus 1 into dv. When we are differentiating the constant we will be getting 0. Are you able to understand this? That is p v power gamma equal to constant when we are differentiating u v method u into dv plus v into du. So we will be taking first v power gamma into dp plus p into v power gamma is o equal to x power n format. So n into x power n minus 1. So p gamma v power gamma minus 1 into dv equal to 0. Now let us simplify this. That is p gamma into v power gamma minus 1 dv is equal to minus v power gamma into dp. p gamma equal to minus v power gamma into dp divided by v power gamma minus 1 into dv. So when we are simplifying this, this can be done as minus v power gamma into dp divided by v power gamma into v power minus 1 into dv. So v power gamma, v power gamma get cancelled. So we can write v power minus 1. So minus 1 by v power minus 1. That can be written as v. v into dp by dv. So this v power minus 1, it will go in the numerator. So we can write v power 1, v into dp by dv. Sorry, one minus is there here, this minus. So minus v into dp by dv. And also this is nothing but same as a constant we can have as b a. So p gamma equal to b a. P gamma equal to B A where B A is equal to adiabatic. Adiabatic bulk modulus. Adiabatic bulk modulus of A. Okay. So for Newton's we got P equal to B T. For Laplace we have got P gamma or gamma P is equal to V A. So when we substitute this value in the velocity of longitudinal waves in air medium. That is V A is equal to root of B A by rho. This is the formula for velocity of longitudinal waves in uh, elastic medium. So instead of this B A we can substitute root of gamma into P by B A is equal to P gamma. So gamma into P divided by rho. Understand? This also we can return as that is root of gamma into root of p by rho. Root of gamma into root of p by rho. That is nothing but root of gamma into p by rho already we have got through Newton's formula. That is equal to Vt. Velocity in isothermal condition. So Va is equal to root of gamma into Vt. Understand? So listen, we have differentiated the p v power gamma equal to constant, v power gamma dp plus v gamma v power gamma minus dv equal to 0 and we have rearranged and we have simplified, we got p gamma equal to minus v dp by dv. So here this v dp by dv is nothing but a constant word, but it is an adiabatic condition so we can say b a is the adiabatic bulk modulus. So p gamma equal to b a. Now we can substitute the velocity formula that is velocity of longitudinal waves in elastic medium as root of b a by rho instead of b a we can write gamma into p gamma p by rho so that is equal to root of 
gamma into root of p by rho so root of gamma into p by rho is already we have discussed that is equal to vt so v a is equal to root of gamma into vt now the gamma value we can write gamma is equal to 1.47 that is the air contains mainly nitrogen oxygen and hydrogen so we can have the specific heat capacity ratio cp by cv is 1.47 constant and also we know the value of vt is from the newton's law 280 meter per second so if you substitute the value we will be getting v is equal to root of 1.4 into 280 meter per second and that answer will be 331.30 meter per second so this is almost very much closer to the experimental data experimental data is what 332 meter per second so this is about laplace correction so you have to keep it in mind according newton's law the propagation is considered to be a isothermal process very slow process and according laplace correction the process is considered to be a adiabatic process and here the wave propagates in fast manner so there we used boyle's law here we used poisson's law and we got a correction so the velocity of sound waves in air medium is 331.30 meter per second students you have to learn this question describe newton's formula for velocity of sound waves in air and also discuss the laplace correction okay detailed question answer thank you students